Have you ever taken a swim in the ocean, tasted a splash of seawater and wondered, why is it so salty? You might think the answer is simple but the real reasons behind the ocean's saltiness are more jaw-dropping than you'd expect. Let's rewind millions of years. When the Earth was young it didn't have salty oceans at all. Our planet's water first came from ancient volcanic activity and icy comets that bombarded Earth. This water filled the basins we now call oceans. At that point the water was mostly fresh, so, where did the salt come from? The key lies in one of the planet's oldest forces, rain. Rainwater is naturally slightly acidic and over time it broke down rocks on land. This process, called weathering, released minerals like sodium and chloride into rivers. These rivers carried the minerals straight to the sea, and once they got there, they stayed. Here's the jaw-dropping part. The oceans are like giant mineral collectors. While rivers deliver both salt and fresh water, the water constantly evaporates back into the atmosphere to form clouds, but the salt never leaves. It just builds up, year after year, century after century. Imagine this happening for over 3 billion years and you'll understand why the ocean tastes the way it does today. But it doesn't stop there. Underwater volcanic vents, sometimes called black smokers, also pump out minerals directly from beneath the Earth's crust, adding even more salt to the mix. Some of this comes from deep within the mantle, proving the ocean's chemistry is tied directly to the inner Earth. So next time you're standing at the shore, take a second to think. That salty taste isn't just from today, it's the result of billions of years of rain, rock, and volcanic fire. The ocean's salt is a memory of Earth's history, preserved in every single drop. Jaw-dropping, isn't it?